Hey guys, quick update on the Supermicro 1U server build. So I've got um, the motherboard in here and everything set up. Um, you know, you got your HBA here, the 9211. Um, I'll also have 64 gigabytes of RAM. Um, that's another good deal on eBay. I think I paid about $40 for this set. Um, it's just some Hinks um, 10. Uh, 66 memory, so a little slower, but it should be fine. It's, this is kind of more of as a uh, test build slash backup node. Um, I had to buy a custom uh, breakout cable because the one I had um, had right angle connectors and they wouldn't fit into the back plane here. So I tried my best to just kind of make it all nice and uh, tidy. Um, got the cables plugged in. Uh, once this is all kind of sort it out, I'll zip tie all this up. I'll probably get another um, four pin adapter to Molex um, so I can plug that in here. Um, it only came with one. I don't think you need these for the, 90, for the X9 DRD boards. My uh, IF had one and this is the LF. Uh, it also has one, so, or t excuse me, two, but it only comes with one. Um, I might just plug it in for stability. I could probably just solder in um, one to this adapter and you know make it look pretty with some heat shrink and stuff. Um, it's got a couple drives uh, populated. I'm going to add two more and then I'll probably just do ZFS uh, RAID Z1 with those. Um, I don't think anything on here is going to be too mission critical as far as data wise. It's kind of more for just learning. Uh, I might do um, RAID Z2. Of course you know I can blow it all the way in and redo it. Um, I don't, again, like I said, I'll probably just turn this on uh, when I want to do some experimenting. Um, I also ordered two new fans, uh, well, two, I guess, new to me fans to go in here because um, I just have two more fan ports and, you know, I figured why not. Um, these things do blow uh, pretty loud, even at idle. Um, I mean, when you first start the server, they're just, they're just screaming, but they usually slow down um, quite a bit. Um, I did test the breakout uh, ports with the 9211 and these two discs are recognized just fine. Um, I need to get a SATA or a SATA SSD card in here and um, install Proxmox so I can start doing some testing. I'll probably get, um, there's a special super micro adapter that you can plug into where the DVD drive normally goes. Um, so I'll probably plug that in there. Uh, here is, I think, for a um, USB kind of breakout board and a serial port. Um, the USB would be useful. Uh, I don't have any serial ports on this board. There is one that's supposed to be down here, um, but the pins aren't included. I did try and solder in some more USB pins, and I just my soldering iron isn't very good. And I wasn't able to push the pins through. I wonder if, if I took like a desoldering braid and tried to remove all the solder mask there, um, if it would make it easier. Once the pins are through, then I could just run some solder across it. Um, also, the uh, um, intrusion pin header uh, it's supposed to go right here, but there's no pins there either. I might just snip this and solder it in, but the only problem is um, that I can't disconnect it, but I could always, um, I have some cables with uh, headers like this I could just solder. That's probably what I'll do, is I'll just solder a male to there, and then probably just put a little hot glue or something, and then I can do the uh, intrusion. Um, this is quite a long cable for such a short run, but I guess it depends on the board you're using. Um, got the front panel plugged in, tried to route the cables nicely, but yeah, nice little um, server build. Um, I did order some newer processors for my other rig, so I'll be putting the um, 26, 28 L's in here, so that'll be a nice um, 32 threads to kind of 2 gigs per thread, but uh, um, I'm going to keep it a secret with the other CPUs I'm putting in the other rig. That'll be a nice upgrade for there, so I'll definitely do a video on that, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, give a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and comment. Thanks.